Hi guys and welcome to another video. So this one is absolute stark contrast to yesterday's video and of course in yesterday's video we were discussing the rumours that KLD was set to sell Sunderland and was set to sell the club. Uh, of course in that video I did say take a huge grain of salt, it was only a rumour and the original source um, wasn't exactly you know, massively credible. Um, again no disrespect to them but that's ju just what it was, it, it was just a rumour. Um, now, not to say that still couldn't happen, but it's looking more and more highly unlikely now that KLD has announced a multi-million pound investment into the Stadium Light and the match day experience at the Stadium Light. And for someone who is supposedly, and of course there's rumours, you know, he wants to sell the club, why would he put this multi-million pound programme into the Stadium Light uh, and the facilities and making the match day experience better? if he's just going to sell the club anyway. Now for me, and I'm going to read the whole statement on it so we get a better understanding of what this actually means, um, because it just sounds like a waffle at first, doesn't it really? Because you don't really, it's, it's very vague, um, but we'll get into that. But also we need to remember that season tickets are up for renewal very soon. Oh, I don't know whether they are yet, I don't think they are, um, but very soon they will be. And at the moment, you know, usually what happens is you're looking at what's happening on the pitch and that is what drives you to renew your season card half the time. Or um, well, the majority of the time, you know, be it the brand of football we're playing, is it exciting? Even if we you know win, lose, or draw, if the brand of football is exciting, then you might, uh, you know, you might renew your season ticket if you're doing really well. Of course, naturally, people are going to re renew the tickets more. But after you know six defeats and the bounce and a draw, you know, no winning seven, um, we've still got no manager. It looks stupidly bleak on the pitch. There's not really, there's not really a selling point. Like at this point, it's like, you know, why would would they? No one has a real um, uh, there isn't uh, a real incentive there, of course. So a lot of people, a lot of fans, just do it regardless of it anyway. But they want to find a selling point, don't they? And for me, this is absolutely it. Um, so I'm going to go into a statement here, so then we know exactly what this multi-million pound program investment of the stage mark is, uh, and we'll have a read through. So Sunderland AFC has committed to a new multi-million pound investment program to improve fan experience at the Stadium of Light. The exciting developments represent the greatest level of investment in the club's stadium for more than 20 years, and it will result in a transformational impact on the matchday experience. Following last summer's initial phase of substantial investment within our hospitality spaces, phase two will commence following the end of the 2023-24 season. And we are delighted to announce that several new projects will be completed for the start of the new campaign. This includes the installation of safe standing within the Roker End, 2,000 seats, and the North Stand Upper, 1,000. Throughout recent years, our supporters have campaigned to see safe standing is reduced at the Stadium of Light, and this marks a significant step forward in the continued development of our stadium. The improvements will help build atmosphere and reinforce the impact of the Roker End as our iconic home stand, whilst also creating a safe environment for our fans. A new PA, sorry, a new PA system, finally, and floodlighting system will also be installed this summer, unlocking a wealth of opportunities to enhance in-stadium experience of supporters of all ages. The club will be collaborating with world-renowned partners on both projects, bringing together international brand recognition with local expertise to deliver best in-class solutions. This is a bit that I think is just a little bit waffle and bollocks, by the way. But here we go. A brand new state of art playing surface and undersoil heating system will also be installed this summer, maximising the environment for our team to bring our playing sorry our playing identity to life. That bit's bollocks because <laughs> whatever pitch you're on, whether it's got heated soil or how, how good you know, <laughs> that's not going to make our players play. What? identity does this team have at the moment do you know what I mean you know whether the grass is long short under soil heating all that kind of shit it's just a bit of waffle really isn't it? that's that's a very Lee Johnson statement but yes it will be nice that we're going to get a new playing surface moving on these plans are formed part of the club's renewed commitment of putting fans at the heart of our actions with a new technical kit partner and retail partner also set to be announced in April this summer stadium developments build on last summer's investment across our hospitality spaces with extensive upgrades made to Quinn Sports Bar, the Montgomery Suite and the Business Lounge. 
In partnership with Sunderland City Council, work is also continuing to develop the City's 5G network, which will see the Stadium of Light become the first 5G-enabled football stadium in the United Kingdom in 2025. Chairman Kirill Louis-Dreyfus said, Today we're delighted to announce that we are continuing a significant period of investment to develop the Stadium of Light with the next phase to complete before the start of the new season. These upgrades signify a dramatic shift in our approach to match day experience and each development will bring lasting benefits to our loyal supporters. The improvements we are making will enhance match day now and in the future and we can't wait to experience them side by side with our fans when we return to the Stadium of Light for the new season. Further information about each development will be shared in due course and the season ticket holders impacted by the introduction of safe standing, including those situated within the area and alongside, will receive additional information shortly. As part of the continued upkeep of the stadium, the club will also be engaging with the supporters collective to undertake a walk around of the facility to identify any outstanding maintenance points to ensure they are addressed as part of the club's summer improvement program. The club will be get, sorry will be engaging with supporters to monitor and review the impact of these developments as we consider and implement additional long-term stadium improvements. So to be fair, all I can say to this is fair play. It's fair play to KLD. Um, you know, he, he is putting money into the stadium, but it's about a time that he puts it into the playing squad, and I think that's what a lot of people's attitude is towards this. But, it, it, you know, it, like I said, if you're going to be selling the club, then why would you put such investment within the, the stadium, you know, with, with all the, you know, safe standing, which would be brilliant to put in there. I know it's only 2,000, but still, it's a start. Um, yeah, we're getting a new surface, new PA finally, because that's been dog shit for, <laughs> for a long time. Um, and obviously just the hospitality suites, they're getting an improvement and obviously they take fans around and they, they can pinpoint all the improvements, even things that just need a lick of paint and shit like that. Do you know what I mean? Just the basics to make it better. You wouldn't put this amount of investment into the stadium, which again, the same source that was saying that KLD is going to sell the club was saying that uh, KLD wants to sell the stadium to Sunderland Council, which... Uh, you do the math. So, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so KLD, fair play for that one. But as I mentioned in the back end of yesterday's video, and I know I went off in a bit of a tangent in yesterday's video, we need a really, really ambitious window. If he's going to get ambitious with the ground and the improvements and throwing a million, millions of quid at the improvements in the stadium, that isn't that absolute sort of... Yeah, it is high priority, but right now we've got a, a team and a squad that needs drastically improving um, in many areas so hopefully he continues his trend of investing in the in the club and he does it in the squad as well and not just in the squad in the coach as well it's all well and good bringing in five six brilliant players but then bringing on a shit coach who can't coach the, these young players correctly so we need a very ambitious summer um, and if he is to stay and it is you know it's um, it's not a case if he's going to be selling up um, I probably would originally. I, again, I did originally say that just have dodge till the end of the season because it, it's a shit show anyway. But I think it would be good. I know they're not going to do it now because they've always said they're not going to. But I think we would absolutely benefit from having whatever new coach or manager we, we, we're going to bring in, bring him in before the end of the season. So at least he gets whoever it would be gets a taste of what we've already got. You know, even if you end up just overseeing an absolute shitstorm to the end of the season, you know, you wouldn't, you couldn't get on many coaches back at the with the side I've got at the minute and the the catalogue of injuries as well. You know, just to see what we've already got and then they can get their input on what needs to be brought in as well. I know the coaches these days they don't have too much of a say in, in transfers, um, but they do have a say. You know, I know that it, it's not just a case of them just simply throwing players or Speakman throwing players and Harvey throwing players at whatever coach and they said, right, you need to deal with that. Of course they have the final say and they get their the sort of the, the biggest chunk of the say, but um, they've said it in interviews before. You know, it's not like they have absolutely zero di dialogue with the coach. But either way, I'm, I'm going off tangent again there. <laughs> That's just me as usual. But it's yeah. So either way, very interesting and it is positive. And it, it's very easy when things are going shit to just slay everything. I've even said on bloody Twitter, some people have somehow twisted this into a negative, and I just don't get how it can be done. And I get it when we're losing and things look shit, and I know they haven't been perfect, but. Some people are just hell bent on just turning everything into into an issue, and I just how can you at that? Do you know what I mean? Again, it, it's it's something that has to be done, 
but it doesn't mean we can't applaud them for doing it, if that makes sense. But either way, there we go. What do you guys think? In the comments, let me know. And if you've enjoyed, smash that like button for me. It'd be massively, massively appreciated. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already to become a fully fledged member of the Sony Army. But for now, take care. Stay jammy.